the orange one here so we are still kind of messed up from the last episode we'll, we're just gonna put a quick bandage on this just a little bit i mean we'd probably heal it up anyways but whatever it's fine i already did it um yeah so what i'm thinking is we'll go back to the hub and maybe do some trading there i don't know i think we kind of just want to get out of here and we got our prototype IO recorder. Um, we do want to sleep somewhere. But I thought maybe we want to get away from where we were just like shooting. So, yeah. Um, we got a couple zombies there. Um, yeah, we are going by this research center. So that is going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, I've been on a binge with this game. I think I am probably going to double it up. It's just been too good recently <laughs> okay let's have a quick stop i can't believe this about the hub i can't believe like i haven't discovered them sooner honestly kind of crazy or that i uh, didn't you know work with them earlier um what about the job? Isn't, um... Not interested, be whatever. I thought that I should be able to... If I look at the mission, what does it tell me? I mean, I, I got the, the thing, though. It's the return of field data, isn't it? No, I, I have the item. Um, let's see. Okay, can I trade it at least? Is it worth a lot to you? The IO thing? I don't even see it in here. It doesn't look like I can even trade it. What? Weird. Yeah, disappointing. Whatever. I mean, at least I'll be able to go and... I mean, I kind of wonder if I have to accept it and then I can turn the thing in. I'm just curious. I, I bet it's going to generate another one or whatever. I don't really care. Um, I'll do it. I mean, is it now like doubled up? I Yes, I have double quests now. Yep, here it is. Glad to help. I wonder if it takes care of both of them. No, not yet. Well, dang. I have a double of this one. It's at the same place. It's at least at the same place. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing right now, to be honest. Which in the matrix right it's part of the game i was just talking to a friend about this game and how you just kind of have to accept that it's going to be a, a little bit buggy like that you know i think i will go down here it's going to be a long drive but whatever i'll take the road i mean if we take the road we'll be able to go at a pretty good speed I and mean, we'll have to kind of duck around some ants or whatever but we'll be able to go pretty quick like it's pretty safe. It's not like totally safe. But it's pretty safe. And we'll we'll heal up pretty nice along the way, I bet. I also we can kind of think about this like I'm showing off how fast we heal. This is actually remarkably quick. Actually, hold on, is that it's not military plate, is it? This thing, whatever this is. It is actually. Okay, hold up. We need some of this. Let's just take a minute. 
Do I have a toolbox around here? I think that's all I need. Yep, cool. I still have my laser weapon, right? Yeah. I need to get that on a sling or something. I don't know. Maybe a holster. Oh, there's some... Yeah, it's just junk. Okay, um... E... There's actually, like, decent quality one I think I would go for, because I think it, like, takes a lot less time to heal it up. Yeah, this looks like it's, like, the best quality. Sure. We'll do that. Um... And then also, it actually has some battery power. This is a uh, storage battery. I could remove that. I could get my friend out here and remove it and install it. Sure, why not, right? Um, what did I just get? Oh, I got the military plate. Yeah, friend, come here, just for a minute. You're you're healing up too, right? Yeah, he's he's getting better. It was just a flesh wound. Um. Where's the the battery? There's one of them. That's the one that I really want. I think this um yeah, we're not actually able to carry it. Hold on. We're gonna have to use the inventory menu to move it. <laughs> I bet my friend here could move it. Like no problem. Like, if he helped me, I could, like, move it super quick. Okay, I think that, um... I need to repair it, though, before I put it on. I'm almost positive. So I need... Is it a soldering iron? I probably also need the welding kit as well. I, I've been needing to do, um... Some welding for a while now. Actually, can I me reload the welder? Yep, cool. Um, before we actually do the battery, let's just replace that, please. <clears throat> it's a quick job. I'm not really even sure how I damaged it. it um, okay, it's actually starting to smash on things. Okay, we do have to kill it. Uh, let's get the laser rifle out. Hello, good sir. I've got my shotgun. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it, though. Uh, can I... turn that off and go UPS? Actually, <laughs> we don't even need it. <laughs> oh man, that kills those heavily armored things pretty quickly. Why is this not letting me look at it? Oh, it's because there's a sh piece of metal there. I see. Okay, I got it. Okay. Let's repair that just a little bit more so that we're all spiff. Okay. And then... Yeah, you know what would be cool is if we got like some other power sources. Like, and we installed, uh, that in our, in ourselves, like, and then we were able to kind of just, like, wander around. We've got all these, like, crummy little car batteries, but we can actually install the, this if we get our friend out here. Friend, come here. Give me a hand with this, will ya? Where was it? Was it... I feel like it was right here, yeah. This is a pretty decent spot. I mean, it's kind of far forward. No, I can't install it there. Oh, I could install it there. Sure. Perfect. Um, actually, hold on. No, I, I didn't repair it. Dang it. This is, see, this is what I'm talking about. Now this is going to be bad for us. Uh, where is it? Here. They can't repair that. So I need to remove it. And I, I think I do need to wield it to repair it. 
I'm not sure about that, but can't mend it. But let's see if I go to soldering iron. It would be the welder then, if it's not the soldering iron. No. Well, how do I repair this then? Can it not be repaired? It's not repairable. Okay, so oh, uh, I think you just you must have to disassemble it and then get the parts or something. I don't know. Looks like it's a long disassemble job. Hopefully, we're not irradiating our friend too much. We might be. We should probably get rolling. <laughs> I'm afraid to like sleep around him. I don't think it's taken too long. Eh, after the last episode, it was pretty combat heavy, so this is fine, right? <laughs> Look, we've already got like mostly healed in our torso and our head. Our arm is not doing so, so good. Oh, I started scratching my arm. And so is that entire thing ruined? Yes. Okay, great. Well, then I am not wasting a second longer with that. <clears throat> well, at least we got the military, upgraded military plate. <clears throat> that was something I think I had said I wanted to do. Pretty recently. Get those headlights on. I really do need to get the uh, side headlights back on. Like I did a while ago. Those like little floodlight things or the wide angles. Can't remember what I did. But this is a lot worse <laughs> visibility, but it's just kind of not been a problem. Now, though, we kind of are hurting. I'm curious if we actually are healing less because we've got less radiation is one possibility but I also kind of doubt that okay so let's just make sure we're going the right way okay we're gonna have to go past the FEMA camp oh ah what happened there that was kind of weird so we're trying to go down past the FEMA camp down to like Cab Beverly and Royalston kind of area. Okay. To Royalston then. Oh, would I just run over? I'm like afraid to get in combat right now, to be honest. We know what we could do is we could make more heavy batteries and then we could make more UPS and then we could just like run off of those. Just charge them up every once in a while. Because, like, we have the strength to carry them. I, like, drove over this way. Over here. That's funny. I'm, like, heading almost directly path. Uh, through this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not looking to get into a fight with our arm in the yellow. The fungal blossom. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that sounds not good. We got fungal creatures in the woods here. I know where the tower is. Okay, Royalston. We're getting near Royalston. I'm gonna kind of cut around a little bit. Oh my gosh, fungal blossoms. It seems to be all over. They must have like a thing around here. Yeah, I think we were around here in the last episode. Or the, like, maybe two episodes ago. I've been playing a lot of this game. They've kind of, all of them have kind of blended together. <laughs> do I know where that railroad goes? I do not. I could go on a railroad adventure. And we kind of already have done the railroad adventures, the thing. We haven't done this quest. Oh my gosh. Ignore that. Okay, maybe drive mostly around that and accelerate and turn. Goodness gracious. I think we're okay, but we 
Just need to drive through it. Yeah, we're fine. We're just slime. I'll just kind of bounce off the car. Not a big deal. <laughs> okay, there's also our our evac shelter over there. We haven't been there in a while, have we? Um, we could go get milk there. It's pretty much where we're going. Let's go back. It's funny, the quest is basically back at our, our base. I'm gonna go back there and we'll check up on things. Drink some milk. So I think we've ate most of the um, the meat that's gonna be um, fresh for now. And I think we'll stay carnivore for now. I might take more mutagen later, but we'll see with this whole current radiation situation. I could also auto dock at like um, the doctor's office and that like actually will take my radiation down. So I just need to essentially not sleep at camp and just like not park my car near camp. And things should be good because we don't want to radiate our whole, you know, civilization. That would not be good. I didn't even gear up the, the latest recruit. I just kind of dumped him there. I'm like, okay, good luck. I don't know if I'm ever going to use you. Because <laughs> I kind of like rolling with one NPC. They're they're easier to ma manage if it's just one of them. And I think that they're pretty powerful. I mean, Harvey's... He, he definitely... I mean, you've seen he's useful. He, like, makes it so, like, I have quicker access to cars. And he, like, also takes care of zombies that I just kind of don't want to deal with. And then I can just kind of do whatever I feel like. Zombie? That close to my home? This can't stand. Speaking of which, actually, can we just take a look at the car? Yeah, the car is fine. Okay, we'll just kind of smash that. But, yeah, thank you. And then we'll roll back out. Um, yeah, I think we want to go back to our base, drink some milk, just get like a ton of milk. Actually, can we get like a... I think I need like a tank out of a car or something first, and then we'll do that. There's probably a ton of eggs there at those crows. They, they lay eggs, which you can then harvest. Um, buh, 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 I can see the cow. Just gonna do a quick pass around. I think there's, yeah, there's like a little parking lot that's like right across the way from us, isn't there? And there's actually a car here. Does it still have its tank? If not, that's okay too. Any tank? I feel like this does not have a tank on it still. Okay, um... There's nothing in the parking lot either. Let's just go... There's gotta be a car around here somewhere that I can grab a tank off of. It's just really annoying. I've just, like, gotten really tired of milking with the jug and every time having to do that. So if I, I can get, like, a fuel tank from something here, that would be great. What do we have here? Do you have a tank? You do. It's actually draining gasoline. I don't care about the gasoline, so go ahead and drain it. I can repair you. <laughs> I'll just do this work here, and then I want to remove you. Um, I'm gonna ignore him. I could get more gasoline, but whatever, it's fine. Do I have the tank on me? I don't see it. Did I not actually take it out? Oh no, this one's actually in perfect condition. Take that out. 
Okay, wield it. I'm doing it. I'm just gonna carry it. This is gonna be our milk tank. You heard you heard the man. We're getting a whole tank of milk. Harvey is probably pretty happy about that. <laughs> His name is Harvey, right? <laughs> I've forgotten his name so many times. I do need to do a little Geiger counter readout on me and him. See if I need to take another Prussian blue. Uh, what is that right there? Landum? What are you doing, bud? How'd you get out there? You wily rascal. I thought I had him indoors. Hello. You weren't getting into no trouble, were ya? Okay. Oh, huh. You guys, like, not be doing that, please. The whole, like, just wandering around in the dark. Okay, so... Landon still thinks that he's with me. Maybe I can just tell him to stay here. Um, blah, blah, blah. The... The guard this position. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I just... Go D. And then E. And B. Okay, cool. Let's get this milk, man. We're gonna get so much milk. Uh, yep. Perfect. Hopefully we get another couple cows. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if we would have much use for all of it, though. Man, that is a lot of milk. It's 120 things of milk. Which is, like, a superfood. Uh, I saw Critzy Bear in his series he was kind of playing around with it too it's like seriously amazing but you gotta cook it that's the problem so yeah um i don't want to spend more time here than i need to but i was just curious where's our geiger counter yeah i always misspell it i knew i was misspelling it Let's just check ourselves. Oh yeah, our radiation has gone down considerably. Cool. Okay. What about our friend here? Yes, he's he's down to normal levels. Okay, we're doing fantastic. Um, so fantastic. I think I'm actually gonna turn that on. And why don't we see about what batteries we can do? Because we gotta. Yeah. I, <laughs> Actually, with the raw milk, now that I have, um, like, resistance, I've got, like, disease resistance, infection resistance, I wonder if I could just drink it raw. I'm gonna just do one sip raw and, uh, cook with the rest, but not right here. Not right outside our home. We'll just kind of drive off with the windows shut, by the way. Like, eh, just down the road. It's fine. Far enough. And we'll do some, some milk cooking. I know, we go from, like, uh, killing things. Actually, you know what we could do is, what about condensed milk? I batch craft that. It doesn't really take much longer to batch craft it, to be honest. Hmm. We actually run out of candied honey before we run out of anything else. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Because I want to plan ahead. Okay, I threw up. That's a shame. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think I might have to go. Sorry. Hold up. 